<laughs> All right, Dana Gods and Goddesses. We're going to be talking about one of the big problem sets out there that a lot of people just don't even know what to do with. What do you do when you're successful? What do you do when you got tons of people hitting your semantic models, using your reports? Everything is going great, but then all of a sudden you get more. And more and more people accessing your reports. Things start to slow down. They go to a, a, a crawl. Oh no, what are you going to do? You've optimized your, your model. It runs fine with like 50 to 100 users, but you've got like a thousand or more. What 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 are you going to possibly do? Well, oh, I got, I got some great news for you before we get into that. You try to keep up to date on the latest of everything in, in the fabric space? Well, tune in on Fridays at 7.30 Central Time. Kevin Arnold and myself, we meet, we talk fabric at Fridays. Uh, it is a fantastic session. Uh, each time, each week we go into different topics, different categories. It's absolutely fabulous. You got to join us. Make sure you've liked and subscribed so you check out the, that channel or you, my channel, our channel. <laughs> Me and Kevin. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a fun time. You should do it. All right. So what do you do? Your data set's successful. Lots of people are using it, accessing it. Well, what are your options? Well, you could you could scale up, right? That was a capability. You could get some more uh, premium capacities. You could go from that P1 to a P2 to a P3, P4, P5, you know, all that stuff. Or in this case, a fabric, because we're the fabric world now. F64 becomes an F128. F128 becomes an F-256 and F-256, yeah, you know, it just keeps going up and up, right? So you could do that, but number one, it's very expensive. Number two, maybe you don't need that additional memory, right? So you're spending money and you're not necessarily getting something out of it. Well, in the analysis services world, you could just, you could do something that was called scale out. And what that would do is basically it would take your data set and they would replicate it across additional nodes. So like, okay, you're good up to 100 users. Once you start to like approach that and, you know, at, you know, you know that that happens every day between nine and noon, you, you go to like 200 users. So you scale out to another one. Well, noon to three, it gets really crazy for some odd reason. So you add in that third or that fourth or maybe even that fifth scale out uh, server, right? Like you, you'd script all that stuff out. You have them come in and out as, 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 as you kind of progress along and hey, you're all well and good. That's great. Well, got a little bit of a challenge there in that it's, well, frankly, it has some problems, right? Like you run into some issues with that. Now you can't, now you could do that analysis services you could do it in Power BI, but here's here's kind of the challenge. You, you have to be able to like, configure and script stuff out. You have to be able to like configure out your semantic model scale out. And, you know, some people, you know, a lot of teams have engineers that can go in and they, they can do this. And I mean, you know, it, it is relatively simple. Uh, and I'll links in down below if you want to if you want to go down this path to like really tightly control it. 100 percent can. Uh, you just basically run a few PowerShell scripts to get the the data set ID, get the secure or current scale out configuration, so you can understand what's your scale out capacity at. So where are you at on the the scale? Right. You could do that. You can then run the, the PowerShell uh, command here to uh, to to enable scale out. So you can do that. Right. So you can actually define how many scale out copies do you want? Do you want one, two, or three? Remember. You, you know, you're going to be paying for these additional nodes and analysis services. Okay. You know, you, you, you can do that. Um, you can also turn it off, right? So you, you stop paying for that stuff. Um, some, uh, a, a little, a little FYI. Uh, one of the things you do have to do is go into the synchronized stuff. So you, you have to, when you've done a scale out, if there's any refreshes going on, you've got to scale out, then you've got to create your, uh, replica syncs and you got to get these syncs in so you, you can do all this stuff right 100 percent, super easy barely an inconvenience you, you can go in and do that or uh you you can head over to power bi and i'm already right there but i'm going to show it to you you just go into your you know your data set workspace so i've got my data set here uh you go into settings now you scroll down 
a few things. If you go to query scale out, you're going to see that query scale out relies on a large, uh, a large data set storage format. So you do have to make sure that this is turned on. A note, it's going to be scaling out those capacities within that same memory block. So, you, you know, you, you will be bound by the amount of memory that uh, you have available on your premium capacity. So do note, this is something that you're going to ha have to manage, but relatively speaking, straightforward. So uh, we basically turn this on, hit apply. This is going to upgrade to your, uh, your, your data set to a large store, uh, storage format. Um, one pro tip. Do not turn that on by default in your workspace. You want to do that data set by data set. Once that's that's configured and on, good to go. Then you just turn this off or turn this on and click apply. And boom, you're all done. You've got query scale out configured, right? And the best thing about this is you do not have to worry about numbers of replicas. You do not have to worry about... Uh, uh, like syncing it and keeping those replicas fresh. You don't have to worry about turning it on, turn it off. You don't have to worry about uh, when do you have one, when do you have three, when do you have uh, X number, right? All of that is managed inside of, of the Power BI service. It is a fantastic thing. This feature was in preview for a little while. It was running, it was pretty, it was, it's great. This is now GA, you can get in there and do that. So uh, I, I'm super excited about it. What did you think? You think this is something that you're going to use? If you're super successful and like you got lots of people hitting your stuff, like this type of thing can be really helpful in managing users as they come in and you know that high number of users that are coming in and hitting that, that can really help you with your consumption. Thank you guys all for joining me. Hey, if you didn't hit that like button you're watching right now, what the heck? Hit that like button, subscribe, turn the alarm bell, let them know that you're coming here. And, and so you don't miss out on anything that we got going on. Because got a whole bunch of new videos coming out. I can't wait to share them with you. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. Baker Tilly Digital combines strategic industry insight and advanced technical expertise to uncover and solve your digital transformation challenges. If you're interested in learning more, check out our website at bakertilly.com digital.